mashed potatoes, right? What's so new about such an old dish? Well, today I'm going to share with you how to make the creamiest mashed potatoes I've ever had in your entire life. And if you're interested in that, then stick around for this short video and learn how. Growing up, I was lucky enough to spend all of my school holidays in the countryside with my grandma, with my aunts and uncles. Um, and in that part of the world, in that space and time, meat was a luxury item. Uh, meat was something that was enjoyed rarely, usually once a week at best, or on big holidays like Christmas or Easter. Because of that, livestock was more treasured for their positive impact on the land, for their ability to work the land, and also for the byproducts that they produced, which in that community's view was more valuable than meat per se. So most of our everyday diet was dairy based in the shape of milk, butter, cheese. Uh, those were the staples. The reason why I mention all of this is because the secret to today's dish, um, the secret to its creaminess is due to dairy products. So the ingredients are potatoes, butter, milk, and a soft cheese. And speaking about a soft cheese, you want something like a mozzarella, for example, which is soft but stringy. In the description of this video, I will leave specific quantities and portions so that you may use them accordingly. But I will start straight away with the how-to just to make it as streamlined and as easy to follow as possible. We'll start by peeling and cleaning the potatoes. But a key point here is to use specific varieties of potatoes like the Idaho or the Russet because of their consistency when they're boiled. But if these varieties are not available in your area, then you can use any type of potatoes. Just boil them longer and fully, and I mean thoroughly cooked. We don't want potato clumps in our creamy potato mash. Otherwise, it's not going to be so creamy. Another option in season is to use new potatoes. Because they are so high in starch, it's going to help out with the creaminess of the final product. After you peeled and washed your potatoes, cut them into small pieces because they will cook much faster and they will be easier to mash in the end. While the potatoes are boiling, we want to prepare all of our ingredients. Uh, as I mentioned, you will need butter, milk and a soft cheese. Uh, we won't need another separate container to do all the mashing in because we will do that in the pot that the potatoes are boiling in. But what we will need is a whisk. Once the potatoes are uh, boiled and piping hot, we want to remove or drain 80% of the water that they boiled in. Very important, only 80%. We want to keep a bit of that starchy juice, starchy water, um, because that's gonna be another reason why these potatoes are so creamy. With all of our ingredients gathered and all of our tools, uh, the first thing we want to do is add a pinch of salt and the butter straight inside. And then with the whisk, start mashing it like you would do with a potato masher. But remember, we're not using a potato masher, we're using a whisk. This stage lasts for about 10 seconds while we do the initial mashing of the potatoes. And after this first 10 seconds, we want to add the cheese, just the cheese for now, and continue mashing it and mixing it for another 30 seconds. When this time has passed, this is the optimal time to taste it. So we want to taste what we have up until this point for further seasoning. As a general rule in the kitchen, remember while seasoning your products or your dishes, it's uh, easier to add more salt in the future when needed uh, than to take back if you've added too much. Lastly, we want to add the milk. And we want to do this in stages with a teaspoon. And I mention this because based on the types or varieties of potatoes that you are using, the, the quantity that I've written down in the recipe in the description of this video may vary. Yeah, we start with that, but then we want to add it slowly because we want to keep the consistency creamy, not runny, yeah? So use a teaspoon and I am adding three teaspoons of milk at a time, I am whisking. Then I am adding more milk and then I am whisking. And if I feel like I've reached the consistency or the creaminess that it's perfect for me, then I will stop. And I advise you to do the same. Uh, that amount of milk is just there to, to be as a guideline, but uh, you can stop at any point or if you feel like you need more, just add more than what I've mentioned in the description. 
while you're adding the milk okay. taste often um, and and season to taste until you reach mashed potato perfection and i say mashed potato perfection because this is what you will get at the end of this whole process if you follow these steps and if you uh, follow the ingredients that I mentioned you should have the most amazing creamy mashed potatoes that you have ever tried unless you uh, spend time in the same village as I did as a kid um, then I doubt that you will have tasted this type or this um, uh, mix of ingredients in a mashed potato before now this finished product, this creamy mashed potato can be enjoyed uh, with any dish that you would usually serve mashed potatoes. But you can have it for breakfast, you can have it for lunch, you can have it for dinner. There's no time restrictions because it's so packed with proteins, it's so packed with good fats, it's so packed with nutrients that um, it can sort you out for the day no matter when you start your day. Maybe you're a night owl, maybe you're an early morning person, who knows? But this will definitely wake you up and give you the strength to carry out with your day. I personally enjoy it with vegetarian dishes like a, a mushroom stew or something like that. Or with a meat dish like a, a grilled sausage or a steak. Doesn't matter. It, uh, if you're a vegetarian, this dish will, will satisfy you. If you're a meat eater and meat is all you want in life, this will be a perfect companion to your uh, meaty dishes. Uh, it doesn't matter where on the spectrum you are. I'm sure that this mashed potato recipe will um, enhance your, your, your palate no matter <laughs> uh, what delights you in the kitchen the most. I won't take more of your time. Go in the kitchen, make this dish. Let me know in the comments what you enjoyed it with and if you liked it as much as I did. Um, and just thank you very much for watching the videos. And if you enjoyed this video, like and share it with others. I'll see you next time.